Chantal. the stress is a war puts on a man, Jean, so don't get all bent out of shape. Take whatever comfort you need. I'm sorry I haven't found the gun yet, but I'll get it to you no matter what. I'm coming. Just you wait. Now, Mother, stowaway is such a harsh word. I know, Father always said if... I know. Father always said that the cargo holds are never policed. I... Yes. All right, I promise. No, you do not need to come here. No, you do not need to come here. It's just... Ever since I found Father's gun, I... So she found the gun. Why the hell am I still here? From the office of John Treebook. Oh, oh, yes, the fellow from the local recruitment office. I'm oh, surely they'll have something for me to do overseas. Hmm. Dear Mrs. Martin, we appreciate your numerous requests to be placed in the field, but believe me when I say the most action you'd see is from behind a desk. Excuse me? Well, I'm sure you're a top-notch typist, so why don't you come down to the boss to type it? I wonder what an itchy trigger finger would do to a girl's word per minute. Oh, cheer up. Betty, you'll get there yet.
Exilirico, you're my last hope. While we are always eager for more women's army auxiliary corps, we are unable to offer you... Pelaki! Fine. Let's see what I can do at home. At the very, very least. Oh, come on now. What a shame. What a stupid... Shame. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Dear Betty, thank you for your enthusiasm about organizing a neighborhood watch. I'm afraid your location puts you at a disadvantage, and you're all alone up there. I'm sure a nice girl like you could certainly help out at the women's club bake sales downtown. <sighs> no, I won't. I, I won't be deterred. Perhaps I could appeal again to Roger. He might listen to reason. Delphi, text to speech. Betty, Betty, Betty. We 
don't need anyone else to run the switchboards. How about this? Be a doll and take a few photos. There's a morale boost to beat the band. At night when I kneel to say my prayers, I rest my elbows on the hope chest you gave me on my 18th birthday. We're going to make a family someday, you and me, you'd said. Inside that chest are our dreams, Jean. And keeping them safe on our end. So you do your duty over there and we'll be right as rain soon enough. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Just a little longer, Jean. I know this isn't real, but the pain sure is. I keep hearing a German man's whisper in the wind. After months of trying to decipher something, anything, I heard the word Bosch. Little elbow grease at the library turned up a German dictionary. Bosch means forest. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean.
Spotify. Just to speech. Betty, I hope this letter finds you well. Echo Bluff must be lonely with you there alone. Have you heard from Jean recently? I wish I could be there but the work here at the Richmond shipyards is vital to the war effort. With Jean in the army that big house must be difficult for you to maintain. I pray every night for Jean. If he were to die over there I'm not sure if mother could handle it. According to the stories we hear at the shipyards the way captured soldiers are treated sounds like a fate worse than death. Indications are this will be a long war, but take comfort in your wonderful home. Love, Eddie. Check out that app. You don't need fancy tools to disassemble your gun. Use the cartridge here as a screwdriver. Yes, Jean, just like I showed you. Now let's get a stopwatch and have some fun. 